Hi, I'm Sean and welcome back to the next post from this web design. This is following on from last week's article on how to publish your WordPress blog post from anywhere. To do this we need to use a language called Markdown very very simplistic and I suggest that uh, you go back to diswebdesign.co.uk forward slash blog to catch the last article if you haven't read it and then once you've done that come back and watch this video today we're going to take you through installing Markdown on WordPress it isn't available by default and we just need to install an easy plugin that will allow us uh, to use uh, the Markdown um, language um, and be able to post our blog posts from anywhere. So this is the second in the series. After this one, there will be a third one which will show you um, how to completely post um, using any application from anywhere you like. Okay, so moving on, we need to install the plugin. So from your WordPress administration area in the dashboard, you want to go over the left hand side here to plugins and click on add new in the search box we type in mark down for wordpress and we see the first one that comes back in the results is the one we're after mark down for wordpress and bb press so we click install now and click OK. Once that's installed, we click on Activate Plugin. And that's it. Markdown for WordPress is now activated and we're ready to go. So to test this, we go and add a new post. Click on Add New under Posts on the left hand side. And we're going to type in Test Markdown blog post that's the title now when we come to the content here we don't want to use what we call the WYSIWYG editor the standard editor here now when you're posting um, as we show you in the third article you won't need to worry about this um, but to actually do a manual post using markdown we need to use HTML so the HTML tab here and that gets rid of the WYSIWYG editor and it won't think that um, our markdown markup is actually uh, what we want to display to the screen this will allow the uh, plugin to actually interpret uh, the markdown markup and visually display our post correctly so now I've already got um, a small little sample post stored in my clipboard which I'm just going to paste in and this will give you uh, a look at the markdown language we've got two hashes space and then heading two so that should make that heading two uh, markdown here should be shown in bold uh, then we've got plugin this is a test and test link TL will reference a link which I'll put in in a second and then we'll, this will become a proper um, ordered list in HTML so let's add the reference um, to that link so we've got open square bracket TL close square bracket colon and then I'll put HTTP forward slash forward slash link dot com just as a, a dummy link now that will make te the words test link a link and the idea is, is this is very very easy to read you can add your links and your references to your links as you go and then you can reference all your links at the bottom of the post so you haven't got to do it um, as you're going through with a equals h a href equals open quote and all of that so this makes this very very simple okay so um, on my test blog I've only got one category so we'll call that uncategorized and there we go we will hit publish and see what this gives us so that will now send it through the markdown plugin and hopefully when I click here to view post we should see 
my post all working nicely. So there we have test our test markdown blog post heading two there uh, markdown plugin test. This is a test link, and we go over test link there, and we've got a nice bulleted list. Now, if I select right click and we view the selection of that source, we can see that it's actually put in H2 tags for us, put in strong for the bold, and it's made that into a link for us, and it's put that in a list. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to write in Markdown, to actually install uh, the plugin and um, put up a post. Now, come along for next week's blog post when we'll be showing you how you can literally do this from anywhere. So you're out on the road and you need to send uh, a blog post in. You can do it even from a Nokia phone using Symbian, um, anything you want. So until next time, thanks for listening. Speak to you again soon. Cheers.